how did you come to see, like, it seems to me like you talk to 99 people, they're feeling like the universe happens to them. But it seems to me that in a, in, through, the, through the lens of values or through the lens of an individual taking ownership of those things, then you realized at some point that, like, attention is not something that people are managing. It's something that's managing them, essentially. How did you come to have that distinction? Because, like, yeah, it's not spontaneous for most people. Well, I, um, when I was 18 going on 19, my mother came to me and she said, son, what do you want for your birthday for, and for Christmas? Because I was born on Thanksgiving Day. And I said, I want the greatest teachings on the face of the earth, the greatest writings humanity's ever had from the greatest thinkers from around the world. And my mom said, you sure you don't want a t-shirt? <laughs> and I said, no, I want the greatest writings on the earth. So she said, well, let me see what I can do. And she contacted my, my uncle, Uncle Ralph. And as a gift, he, um, he sent me two giant six by six by six foot wooden crates to our home on a flatbed truck. And in there was just uh, thousands of books on every possible discipline that he, he knew I would probably want to explore. And one of the texts referred to a, a, a psychologist called William James. And William James is noted for making a statement that I found in the text that uh, the greatest discovery of his generation, this is in 19, or 1895 actually, the greatest discovery of his generation is that human beings can alter their lives by altering their perceptions or attitudes of mind. We can alter our lives. So that somehow is stuck in my mind that it is not what happens to us. It's our perception of what happens to us. And that the quality of our life is based on the quality of the questions we ask, which makes us attentive to see things in a directive way, filtered by what we value, to be able to see things in a way that allows us to make wiser decisions and then therefore actions. So I realized that I, I needed to go and master human perceptions. Mm -hmm.